the very definition of a plant that's native to your ecosystem is that it doesn't need your babysitting. You don't need to water it because it's meant to live there. The type of lawn we use, which is um, usually fescue, ryegrass, and Kentucky bluegrass, not only is this grass not native to Michigan, it's not even native to this continent or this side of the Atlantic Ocean. A number of swimming pools worth of water is used to water a residential lawn, typically over the course of the summer. And you can get up into over 100,000 gallons of water if you um, water an inch a week. That's a lot of water. So a rain garden is essentially a depression, um, maybe six to 18 inches, in which you plant local floodplain species. Floodplain species are used to that feast or famine cycling of water. If you just have a dry season, they're not going to die. And if you have a deluge of water from a really heavy rainfall, that you've diverted into this rain garden, they're gonna be fine with that too. Do you wanna pull this in? We are a team of graduate and undergraduate engineering students. We're part of Blue Lab. And Blue Lab is focused on providing engineering solutions to a lot of sustainability problems, whether they're at home or abroad. We often focus on water and energy. Our current way of landscaping is um, not optimal, it's just because of the way it deals with stormwater. We can get over 1,600 gallons coming down that sidewalk. There's actually a river of water that will flow over the sidewalk when it rains. We are installing trench drains to divert that water into rain gardens. Okay, so here's an example of a trench drain. This is what we are going to be installing in the sidewalk right in front of the house to divert all of that water. It'll just basically uh, require using a concrete saw to cut a strip out of the pavement that's just a little bit wider than this and the outlet will be right in the middle of the rain garden. We worked with a local company called Creating Sustainable Landscapes. Over 200 square feet of rain garden we were able to put in on the first day. And we can also look at it from the other perspective of we removed a lot of grass. So by removing that grass, which is not native and therefore does require your babysitting, you are saving over 2,500 gallons in a summer just for that one 200 square foot patch. If you did this to your whole lawn, you could save a couple swimming pools of water depending on how big your yard is. You can improve your quality of living while um, protecting and um, conserving your native ecosystem. There are great ways to do this and it's just fun to explore that. It's summertime and households across the nation are tuning up their lawnmowers and dusting off their weed whackers to take care of that patch of grass surrounding their house. So exactly how much impact is your lawn have on our earth. 